pass up on the left side. Here's the shot, they score! Sillinger picks the upper left hand corner! The Medicine Hat Tigers have been a model of consistency in recent years. They finished first or second in the Central Division in five of the past seven seasons, including a 14-8 0-1 campaign earlier this calendar year. Success is certainly sweet, but celebrating success with those whose allegiance is black and orange to the core, that's even sweeter. It's been a while since we've been looking at a normal season and, and getting started. Uh, players have trained hard all summer. Um, everybody's excited. You know, it's. It's always, everybody's so hopeful when they first come in, like it's, you know, nobody's, everybody's starting fresh and, and uh, they can kind of prove whatever they want out of their summer, how hard they work. So it's a new start for everybody and everybody's excited. Oh, they mean a whole lot to us. Um, I know last year it was scoring a goal or just coming out for a period or, or start of the game. It, was, it felt a lot different without them. and. Uh, we rely on them when we we want momentum or we're looking for a, a little jump start. So they're, they're, they're huge to us and, and can't thank them enough. The Tigers had reasons to smile at the 2021 NHL draft. Two players selected, including Cole Sillinger, who went 12th overall to the Columbus Blue Jackets. I've had a few scouts or a few general managers talking and say how great his interview was, as good as, as anybody's I think from last year. Um, you know, he's outstanding. He worked really hard in the summer. And Camp got it and runs to the side of the net. Here's Schillinger, shoots, he scores! Pulls the Tiger through and through. Like, he's excited to, you know, come back if that's what happens this year. Um, you know, he's been he's been great with us. Uh, he's, you know, he's been involved talking to our young players. So he's super supportive of our program, and he's a, certainly a definite part of our team. And I think... You know, if you ask Paul, he would, he would give the Tigers organization a lot of credit in his development. Another NHL prospect poised for a big winter, goaltender Garen Bjorklund. The Washington Capitals draft pick finished tied for third in the WHL in save percentage last winter and forms part of a confidence-inducing tandem in the crease. You know, it's it's hockey. It's We're going to break down in the zone once in a while, and it's it's very comforting to have Garen and, and back at Lankow uh, kind of in the pipes for us and and they, they do a great job in, in bailing us out sometimes so it's it's definitely a kind of a comfort comfort uh, level is, is there for us. Now the Tigers have always been a fast team and Desjardins figures that quickness is just as much mental as it is physical but even more important perhaps the bonds these Tigers are forming in their den. We're fast um, we always strive to be the fastest team in the league uh, Knowing that we are we're a hardworking team on and off the ice, um, we just did fitness testing and and we've had some some pretty good scores uh, throughout. Um, and then I think we're a family as well. Uh, just just coming off of fitness testing, everyone was excited to 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 put up numbers, and everyone excited was excited to see some high numbers from their peers as well. So it's uh, it's exciting because I mean to be to be great, we have to trust each other and be a family. With the dawn of a new season comes turnover on the lineup card. Ryan Chizowski, Cole Clayton, Brett Kemp all gone from last year's team, a staple of year-to-year -year life in the WHL. And for a coach like Desjardins, the teaching just comes natural. Uh, our young guys have to come a long ways for us to be successful. Uh, saying that, we are excited about you know what they did last year. I think we got a good skilled group. Um, you know, and it, as a coach, you, you have all these high expectations and and now it's up to the players to prove that they've, they've trained hard and, and they're at those points and you know I don't know if we'll be there right at the start but I, I certainly hope we can be there by the end of the year.